oviparous animals. The egg-laying animals are called oviparous animals. The word ova means eggs, hence the word oviparous. We know that birds build nests to lay eggs and take care of the chicks. They sit on the eggs to hatch them. The eggs need heat. Generally, it is the mother who sits on the eggs and provides its body heat to the eggs. Among penguins, it is the father who takes care of the eggs. Not all egg-laying animals sit on their eggs to hatch them. Fish, frogs and toads just lay the eggs in water. These eggs hatch later. A female seahorse lays its eggs in the pouch of the male seahorse. The male seahorse carries the eggs till they are hatched. Viviparous animals Animals that give birth to young ones are called viviparous animals. In viviparous animals, the young ones develop inside the mother's body. After a period of time, the mother gives birth to live young ones. The period of time a young one takes to develop inside the mother's body differs from animal to animal. A female dog carries her young ones for nine weeks before they are born. She gives birth to a litter of puppies from one to 12 puppies. On the other hand, a female elephant carries her young inside her body for 18 to 23 months, longer than any other animal. She generally gives birth to one baby. An elephant's baby is called a calf. All viviparous animals feed on their mother's milk. So, these animals are also called mammals, meaning breastfed. A human baby takes about 280 days to develop inside its mother's body. Mother-child relationship we already know how the birds feed and take care of their chicks. A cow licks its calf to show its affection. Our mother takes care of us. When we have any problem or we are sick, the person we want near us is our mother. There is a very strong bond between the mother and the child. 